92.5. Brook and Jubal's second date update. The girl on the phone for a second date update today is obviously really disappointed that she's not getting a call back because she got wined and dined on her first date. Oh. I'm talking like a tour of the world, basically. She got to go to Italy what? at this restaurant called Sparrow. And then maybe some American cuisine after at a place called Cinnabon, which I've heard a lot about. Did she really eat at the mall? Yes, she did. She ate at the mall on her first date. And now the dude is not calling her back. Her name's Jaylene. What's up, Jaylene? Hey, guys. Okay, wait. You don't sound 14, so I'm confused. No, I'm not. (laughs) Okay, but your first date sounds amazing. I've heard of that Italian restaurant before. Right. I've never been able to pronounce the name, though, but I've heard it's great. <laughs> no, I work at the mall, actually. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So who did you go out with, a customer or a co-worker? It was sort of a customer. He had walked in, and, you know, I was having a really bad day. And, of course, customer service is, is always wonderful when you're when you're having a bad day. But um, I think you could tell that something was wrong, or I, I don't know. Where do you work at the mall? I mean, you don't have to say what the business is, but what do you do? Yeah. I work at a kiosk. So, um, you know, I meet different kinds of people. Okay, yeah, that would be a frustrating job at the mall, especially the the people that handle lotions and stuff, because you get people just turning you down all day long. Eventually, you probably want to throw a lotion bottle at their head. (laughs) So, anyway, you were having a bad day, and this dude could tell? Yeah, it just seemed like he could tell, and he like, trying to cheer me up. So, we got to talking there for a bit, and then I had to get back to work. So, um, he said, you know, do you have a break coming up? And I said... Yeah, in about like 30 minutes, I'll have my lunch break. So he said, all right, that's great. I have some shopping to do. Why don't we meet at the food court? So That's cute. Oh. Yeah. Were you excited? I was. I mean, everybody usually ignores me. So the fact that this, this guy, this attractive <laughs> guy is talking to me oh. and like, and just cheering me up, I, I thought it was really sweet. Yeah. Okay. And so how was the food court? Everything that you had hoped for and more? Well, of course. <laughs> so, so I walk, you know, down to the food court and he's already gotten a table for us. He's already ordered lunch for us. He ordered Kung Pao chicken. Well, because oh, you probably nice. don't have a very long break. He needs to get that going. Smart. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, he, but he's got to know that, yeah, I don't, I don't have that much time. So he... He had everything ready. Like, trust me, I know I know the owner at the Panda Express. I got an <laughs> extra orange on the orange chicken today. Hey, dude, I may date somebody based on that knowledge alone, Jubal. I'm just saying. Yeah, so it was really sweet and nice. And then after, he's like, so do you want to split a, a churro with me? I was like, um, sure. Um, I, you know, I, I really have to get back to work. But anyways, <laughs> we exchanged numbers, and we were talking back and forth, like, the next four or five days and we weren't just texting we were like talking on the phone and having great conversations really yeah nothing weird nothing um like he didn't just send you a picture of his churro off the top (laughs) like normal (laughs) normal text conversation right there was nothing perverted or like super sexual or anything like that it was just a great conversation and just getting to know the other person but like i don't know we had a lot in common and Mm -hmm. and i bet when you saw his name pop up on your phone like but that felt awesome Yeah, it did until he stopped responding to me, and then I was like, "What did I do wrong? What? How?" Yeah. <laughs> Way to rub it in, Brooke. Oh, that's not what I meant. I mean, <laughs> it was you probably never saw so it again. amazing whenever oh, he would contact yeah. you, but now he's not contacting you at all. <laughs> so that's you gotta hurt. That? Oh, I think that there's got to be a reasonable explanation, or I want there to be anyway. Yeah, a reasonable explanation for making me feel bad. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, how long has it been since he's talked to you? It's been about a week. It's been that, about a week. Okay. That's a all lot right, well, if you guys were talking daily, too. Yeah, like that? Yeah, it was like fast and furious. We would talk like all day long for like a week and then just nothing. Okay. Well, we'll play a song, come back, and call him and get your second date update, okay? Well, I really hope you can reach him because I can't, so. We, we will find this guy. If I have to go to every Wetzel's pretzel, <laughs> I will find this dude for you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> we'll do it right after this. Hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. If you're just tuning in for today's second date update, Jaylene is on the phone, and she met a dude named Justin at the mall. She works there at a kiosk, and apparently they struck up a conversation and then shared a romantic lunch at the food court. (laughs) And then after that, they've texted back and forth for like five days, every single minute of the day, she says. 
And she was surprised when he just kind of dropped off the face of the earth and stopped talking to her. Yes. Personally, I was surprised to learn that people still go to the mall. So that, <laughs> that's cool. Jalen, I'm sure you've gone through like 8,000 different scenarios of what could be going on. Because you said you even had actual phone conversations with this person. Right. What do you think it is? You haven't given us your theory. I don't know. I've been racking my brain about this. Like, he's married or something? I mean, I don't, See, I don't know. See, that's where I would, too. Really? That's where yep. I would in my head. You're in Come a relationship. On. Maybe. She seen a ring. No, because she hasn't seen his house. She hasn't seen his car. Like, she's seen no proof of his personal life. But he didn't try and hook up with me, so I don't get it. I mean, hmm. it's not like we, you know, hooked up the first night we met, and then that's all he wanted. I don't know why he would talk to me every day for a week and then just... Maybe, okay. maybe he's a time traveler. What? God. Why would you because come to that conclusion? I think he's from 1992 because <laughs> you met at the mall and he actually called you on the phone. And that's the last time I think those things have ever happened. Whoa. I mean, at this point, I guess anything's possible. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll dial his phone number right now and see if we can figure out why he just stopped talking to you. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hello. Hi, can I speak to Justin, please? Yeah, you got him. Hey, Justin, how are you, man? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. Who? <laughs> Who is it? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. What's that? It's a radio show. All right, so he listens. <laughs> what? Who are those people? Is there like a lot of you over there? No. <laughs> yeah, there's three of us right now. Uh, okay. Hi. Why are you guys calling me? What can I do for you? Well, I wanted to see if I could grab a few minutes of your time because we got an email from someone who listens to our show and they wanted us to call you on their behalf. Uh, okay. Who? What? It's weird, man. What's going on? <laughs> it is weird. It is. It's a girl that you met at the mall and you guys had lunch at the food court. You guys talked for a little while, about a week, and then you just kind of stopped talking to her. Her name's Jaylene. Uh, oh, yeah, Jaylene, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know her. Okay, well, Jaylene emailed us and wanted to see if we could get you on the phone and find out why you stopped talking to her. Oh, man, just, we're good. We're, we're fine. We did, uh, we got what we wanted, or got what I wanted, and we, you know, it's, we're good. Wait, yeah, hold on, though. <laughs> what did you want? I think that maybe that's the confusing part for all of us when you say that. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, you know, end of transaction. It's just, uh, you, know. you got what, okay, normally when I ask a girl to lunch or dinner or something else, there's something that I want out of it that I don't think you want. Like, what, what did you, what were you, what, what transaction are you talking about? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I don't want to tell you guys, because, you know, if I say anything, then you, everybody's going to know what I'm doing, and, you know... Like, not everybody could think of this, so kind of want to keep to myself for a while, maybe. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? So, wait, you think that you have some genius plan that you don't want leaked out? Is that why you don't want to tell us? I got a genius plan that I don't want leaked out that nobody else thought of yet, so oh. yeah, no. That involves Kung Pao chicken in a mall food court? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes it's Kung Pao, sometimes it's churros. I think we did a Mongolian grill one time. I mean, I was like... Wait. What? what? Okay, so this, <laughs> this is something that you do. Yeah, man. It's just kind of a thing. It's what I do. Wait, you know? Really? You use women for dates at the food court? <laughs> but you paid, right? Who paid? No, I paid, man. It's all part of it. So what the What's part of it? <laughs> I thought you had... I mean, from what Jaylene told us, you guys had a nice connection. You had good conversation on the phone. And you had a quick date in the mall food court that ended in a churro. Yeah, that's all correct. That's how it went down. Can you think of a better plan? Well, you keep sounding so <laughs> sleazy about it. Like, hey, I got what I wanted. But I still don't see what you wanted out of it. Do you, do you just not like to eat alone at the food court? Like, you feel bad about that or something? All right, all right. Here's the deal. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Yes, yeah, very. All right. I only date girls from cell phone providers. Because that way you can get all those discounts and those special deals. What? What? Like for cell phones, man. I mean, I only date girls from mall kiosks, man. Because, <laughs> like, they're easy. They always say yes. You just take them up to the food court. It costs, like, 15 bucks for whatever. And then you get this $900 phone. 
discount. I mean, I've dated three T-Mobiles. I've dated two Verizons. <laughs> oh uh, at least a half a dozen Sprints. Oh, uh, my God. I mean, there was one Boost Mobile ended kind of badly. But, like, you get all the special deals. And, like, some, some like, I get plenty of lines from a crew. And, like, all my Christmas shopping is always done. And I get the newest. I like having the new stuff because, you know, I got, you know, I got my rep to maintain. So I like having that stuff. And so, so many companies, they'll pay you to switch. They give you hundreds of dollars just to switch. So, like, if I got to pay 15 bucks to feed the chick, that's worth it, man. (laughs) I'm so conflicted right now because I really like that you're, like, using the cell phone companies because I hate them. But I don't want you to use a woman to do that. Yeah, she lied to you. Well, I don't just use one. I I, I spread it out. Yeah, women. Plural, I guess. (laughs) Did she give you a deal on a phone? Because she didn't mention anything about that. Well, I mean, it didn't happen right away, like, I, not after we had lunch at the food court, so I had to, you know, it took a couple of days, like, talking to her on the phone, but eventually, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, my God! Hey, what the f*** is going on? Oh! Wait, wait, who's that? Hello? <laughs> oh, that's Jaylene, Justin. She's on the other line and wants to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm here, and I've heard every single thing that you said, and... I, oh. I, I could get in a lot of trouble giving you those discounts. So, thanks. Oh. Awesome. So you did give him one. Yeah, I gave him one, but I didn't know he was using me. Oh. I mean, it's not like I gave it to him right away. Oh. Yeah, and yeah at least you didn't give huge... it up right away. Like, a lot of women, <laughs> <laughs> they'll give it up right after the food court, but apparently you made him wait a couple days. That's good. Dude, we're laughing, but that's messed up. Jaylene, I'd be pissed if I were you too, man. I am pissed off. I don't know what, I don't even, I don't even know what to do right now. Look, I didn't use you. I, I bought you lunch. I oh, little, my God. A little. Not a big deal. You're taking this way too seriously. I wish that you would talk to me like this when you talk to me every single day, multiple times a day on the phone, because you sound like a d- bag. Oh, and yeah. I really wish this guy had been on the phone with me instead of whoever else you were playing. Yeah, I don't really take life advice from people that work at kiosks. Oh, what? <laughs> we should you take life. I, you know what, though? I don't take advice from guys that can't pay for their own cell phone bill and say using girls to, to get discounts because they want an upgrade. Just buy the phone. Just work hard. Buy the phone with your own money. That's disgusting. Amen, Jaylene. I don't got to, sweetheart. It's called using your head. Oh, my God. You're so- you know what? You disgust me. And you know what? That kung pao chicken that you got me was actually cold, too. So. Oh, <laughs> cold chicken. Well, you still ate it. And you gave me the discount. So... I'm happy. <laughs> I think I know the answer to this. But, yeah. Um, hey, Justin, would you want to go out with Jaylene again on a second date? We'll pay for it. I know you like free stuff, so <laughs> get hooked up there. Well, if she's still working at the kiosk, yeah, we can talk about maybe getting me a free upgrade. Oh, my gosh. You don't stop, do you? <laughs> Obviously, you're not that smart because I can go in and cancel your service anytime I want. Oh. And you're an idiot because I can report you, too. All right, listen, honey, you ain't going to do that, because if you do, I'm going to tell your manager that you gave me the discount, and you're going to get in trouble and probably lose your job. Oh, great. So now you're, like, blackmailing her or something. Oh. That's, you're classy. Ah, I don't blackmail people. I'm just saying there's a lot more kiosks that I came from, you know? <laughs> I think that's a risk I'm willing to take, Justin. I think Uh-oh. I think that's a, a, a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, my God. Jaylee, don't even put any more energy into this dude. No, f*** him. He can prepare to have his service canceled at noon today. Oh, dang. Right. That is a lot of power. Yeah. I'm still confused. Do you guys not want to go out or do you want to go out? Nobody oh, ever answered my question. Um, I'm good. I'm all set. Oh. I do not need any more Kung Pao chicken. Thank you. Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess enjoy your cell service while you have it, Justin. Yeah, I got to go to the mall again today then. <laughs> <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning. I got a text in at 78592 that says somebody should tell that guy that cell phone companies, they usually give you a discount sometimes if you just call up and say that you're unhappy with their service. <laughs> it's Broken Jubal in the morning talking about today's second date update. If you missed it, this girl named Jaylene wanted to call a dude named Justin. They met at the mall. She works at a kiosk at the mall. And on that same day, he was like, where'd your break? And she said when her break was. And then they met at the food court. And shared some food, had a romantic time outside yeah. of Panda mm. Express and all the other <laughs> great establishments that the food court has to offer. 
And then they even talked on the phone for like a week, and then he just kind of went away. He stopped. He stopped talking to her. We got him on the phone and found out why. Apparently, this is what he does. He goes to the mall, meets a girl that works at a cell phone kiosk, wines and dines her. And by wines and dines, I mean goes get like a Diet Mm -hmm. Coke and a Cinnabon. And then he convinces them to give him a discount on cell phone service. That's his thing. He's so proud of his thing. Mm. That was what's odd to me. Like... Aren't you kind of sad that you just can't, I don't know, pay for your cell phone coverage? No, to him, he's a genius. He's smart. Yeah, he he didn't mean, even want to tell us. He's like, I don't want you guys, I don't want people knowing my tricks. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, dude, I don't know, like maybe get a job. Yeah, not that impressive. No. I mean, you know, it's always kind of wrong when you use somebody for something, but like yeah. people who are getting like cars and boats and trips yeah. around the world and things like that, pretty cool. But... Uh, just getting a new phone, not necessarily yeah. that cool. And he's not even getting them for free, I don't think. He's just getting a deal. Yeah. He's exactly. getting like an upgrade, like, <laughs> yeah. like a cheap upgrade. Yeah, he's still spending hundreds, Man. I bet. <laughs> oh, Remember, man, she threw in a free case. Uh-oh, that's true. That's how they get they, you. <laughs> they decided not to go out again. Remember, if you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person who didn't call you back.